a one season wonder. And here's Kane! He's never won anything. Kane! 2 1 Tottenham! England's top ever scorer. Kane! That is extraordinary! Three time Premier League Golden Boot winner and one of the most clinical strikers world football has ever seen. Kane! And in this video, I'm going to analyze and break down his game so you can learn and take things from him and add it in to your own game. I'm going to talk about four or five things, but I'm not going to talk about the obvious things like his amazing finishing or technique. These are things that everyone already knows about. So I tried to highlight four or five things that you might not think of or you haven't noticed when watching Harry Kane. So I've got the clips ready. Let's get into it. So for his first group of clips, I've got his awareness, how good his awareness is for a striker. His head's always up and his passing is very, very good. I wouldn't be surprised if later on in his career, he actually went back to centre mid. First clip here, you can see already he's got the ball in the half turn. He's scanned. He knows what he can do with the ball before he even gets the ball. So he's scanned and he plays his amazing pass in behind the defence through to his teammate who gets a shot at goal and even scores. So all of that comes from Harry Kane going deep to get on the ball. But then he also has the awareness and he scans well so he can make the right decisions and then play the right passes most of these first clips are going to be similar again here you can see for England he's dropped deep and he's able to play these amazing extremely difficult passes and a lot of them lead to goals or chances now this one the famous goal we all know about even here he had the awareness he scanned before he got the ball he knew the goal he was off his line so then he was able to turn and take a shot at goal and of course he has the crazy technique and ability to be able to take these shots and score these amazing outrageous goals so this one again is a very good example for England he's got the ball just past the halfway line he's looked up and, he, and he's able to play that pass in behind the back four and he always plays the ball in the right direction with the right pace with the, with the right venom for the player to be able to take a good first touch and attack a goal have a shot or even score again in this case Saka scores and that all come from again Harry Kane dropping deep and getting on the ball here, now the ball is coming from Sané. Again, he's dropped in deep, which means there's space where the striker would normally be. Sané obviously sees that and then drives into that box of space. And Harry Kane, all he does is play a simple lob pass of one touch into that space for Sané to drive onto and then score. So again, simple stuff, but he does it really, really well. He's seen the run of Sun and he plays it off one touch over the fence. A lot of his passes are over the defence into the spaces and this is the type of pass that he's pretty much mastered and the final clip on awareness here you can see he's got hold of the ball and he drives at the defense but when he's driving at the defense his head is always up looking at the spaces looking at his players so he can make the right decision and play the right pass now my second group of clips is about him dropping deep but also having his back to goal. He is very dangerous even with his back to goal, as we can see here in this clip. If you can pause it here, he's got two, three defenders around him. He's got his back to goal, but he's good enough and has the ability to get that yard of space to take off a shot. And all he needs is that tiny yard of space to take the shot. And if he hits the target, it's going to be dangerous. Another thing he does very, very well is he drops deep. He gets on the ball. And if he's not able to turn, if he's not able to pick a pass or drive, he 99% of the time wins a foul for his team, as you can see in these few clips here. This clip I really like. He's turned the defender and he does have a 
bit of space to drive into but he notices his teammate who's in a better position who's higher up the pitch and of course with Son he had a great relationship on the pitch and he's able to play that killer pass off again which leads to a chance or a goal. So when he does turn, when he does turn the defender, he's not always selfish. He does look up and he tries to play these key passes. Now my third bit of clips are regarding his body shape and body positioning before taking a shot or before scoring. So here in this clip he's expecting the ball of Bellingham and his body position is already ready and prepared for when he gets the ball. His body is always facing the goal and because of this all he needs to do is take one good touch and he's in and he's able to take a shot on goal or score a goal so if your body shape if you're always facing towards the goal then it's so easy for you to just do a simple first touch and you're able to shoot if he was facing the other way it would be a more difficult first touch and it would be a more difficult shot at goal so as a striker when you're expecting the ball or you're making runs always try and make those runs so your body is facing the goal and you're kind of side on so you can take a back foot touch and get your shot off really really quickly Again, in this clip, you can see he's asking for the ball, but his body positioning, his body is already facing the right way. So the first touch is getting really simple, or he can let the ball come across his body so he can take a shot at goal with his first touch. So as strikers, it's really, really important to get your body positioning right so you can turn the right way, which saves time because you can then take your shot off quicker, which obviously means it's more difficult to defend for defenders. Now, my final group of clips are about his off ball movement again his positioning and when he's in the box waiting for the ball waiting for a cross he's 99% of the time he's in between the two goal posts so he's in the middle of the goal anything could happen in this position and if the ball comes out if it gets a deflection if the goalie can't catch the ball he's there to pounce on it now of course this is in the first clip it's a simple finish but yet he has to be in the right place at the right time he's in between the goal posts here again same type of finish here he gets across his defender really really well but again he's in that dangerous position in between the two goal posts which basically means in this position any touch he gets on the ball is going towards the goal here you could say he's just in front of the goal which makes it a more difficult position but he did well to get in front of the defender. Now this clip I like, it's a really scrappy goal, it's not an amazing goal, a nice goal but this goal comes from him being in the right place at the right time. And then you've just got some more finishes here, they might not be the nicest goals, the most amazing goals but a goal is a goal and if you're in the right position at the right time for a whole season you can add 5 to 10 goals in your season purely from being in the right place and be and being able to score these simple tap-ins and that is that so i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you learned something and you took something from harry kane's game and you can add it into your own game if you have any players you want us to analyze in the future be sure to drop a comment below if you're new around here please subscribe to our channel and i'll see you guys in the next video peace